So hello everybody. Please like and subscribe. I hope I hope everybody's had a good week so far. And today we're taking a look at this uh, 135 scale M12 gun motor carriage from Airfix. And, um, I have this. I've already built one. I bought this second one so I could build the M30 ammunition carrier, but can't get the kit. So uh, maybe I'll resell it. I don't know. Well, this is a a version. Before they had the M40, they had this. The M40 was much more popular based on an M4 Sherman chassis. This was based on the M3 chassis. So here in the back is the parts map. See, we have six sprues here. Two A, B, C, D, E. I don't see tracks here, so they're separate. There's also some unused parts there. And here's the other other parts here. Upper hole, lower hole, flexible track, thread, and decals. So you can see number one, we're building the sprockets. It looks like there's two, two different types of sprockets and it doesn't give you information over what the two different ones are. There's also the support rollers and the road wheels. So number two, we're building bogies. You see we have here two parts. Put the road wheels inside. Here we build it farther. We have these. Pretty sure the springs that go on top. Some poly caps go in there. And then a couple of other detail. This detail that goes on top. So number three, we have the bottom of the hull. We put the sprockets, the all sprocket hub, the sprocket, the idler arm, and the bogies on it. And here we're doing the other side. So number four, we have internal parts here. We have an engine to put in, uh, pedals, here's the controls. This is all the assembly for this piece here. Engine, transmission, seat. Here we go, we're putting the seats in. We got the controls here and a couple other little parts there. So number five, we put this assembly in that we just did. We have this uh, bulkhead that goes here. And this is the crew compartment in the back here. Putting that in there. It's a couple pre-assembly pre to do here. You gotta make two of them for that. So number six is the upper hull. We put, uh, you just have to put these little parts in there. This is a few little parts to do. This is the instrument instrument panel here. So number seven, put the track together, put it on. You have hatches here, fuel cap, both sides. And here this front, this front plate. Number eight, got some more details that go up here. Lights, the light covers. Here's these uh, vision blocks in the front. There's antenna rail that goes here on the side. And then there's a couple of little parts around there. And pretty assemblies here for the lights too. So number number nine, we have some tool toolboxes, Pioneer tools, stuff. There's also this hatch that goes here. Here's our travel lock, uh, the tools. Here we have a spool we have to build together and there's some thread to wrap around it. That's for the the, uh, the piece in the back. I can't remember what it's called, but I know it is to keep it steady when it fires. Put the travel lock on. Here's another toolbox that goes there and the spool that goes there. So here number 10, we're building this shovel for the back. All these parts here for it. And here's the actuators for it. And number 11, then we put that put that on with the, the rear fenders. And we start building up these parts for the back here. Here we put our ammunition in, a fire extinguisher. Here's our troop seats for the back. The crew seats for the back. More ammunition, another fire extinguisher lights in the back and here we're starting to build this is the 
cradle for the gun. So number 14, we put the barrel together. We put this uh, the breech on. Here's the cradle for the bottom of it. Here's the where the it closes. Some uh, a couple other detail parts there. Here's the base to for it to move. And then you put it on. It's not a very hard build. The hardest part is getting is the spool and get the thread um, put, put on there. So this is a looks like there's two versions. The Persuader B Battery 557th Armored Field Artillery Battalion, U.S. 9th Army, Linux, Germany, late February 1945. And this is Choo Choo Bam. Charlie Company, 557th Armored Field Artillery Battalion, U.S. 9th Army, Estronach, Luxembourg, early February 1945. Now here's our decal sheet. We have two versions. Um, other than the names on there, they're pretty much the same. I kind of like the, because the one I have is from Academy, and I kind of like the decal options there better. But the decals here look good still. This light's kind of, I don't know, weird. You can't really see it. Everything's white. So first off, we have the top of the hole. I'm going to do these separate parts first. You can see some nice detail in there. These nice big bolt heads on the front. So next we have the bottom of the hole. As you can see there's a big hole here. I guess they uh, had it for a, a motor. But they don't put this stuff in the models anymore. We have nice bolt heads around here. Also some decent detail on the bottom. And here's some nice bolt heads as well. Even though they're a little bit more round as they should be I think. In the bag with the bottom of the hole is also the tracks. We've got polytrack on this one. And it's thicker polytrack than comes with some of the um, Tamaya stuff. But it turns out pretty good actually. And there's some pin marks here on the, in on the inside, but they're not that bad really. <laughs> it's a decent looking track for polytrack. So here are our trees A. This is all of our suspension parts. Road wheels, the bogey parts, sprockets, idler arms. This is sprocket hub too. Take a better look with just one. There's some nice detail in there. Sprockets look good. Nice bolt heads on it. The roads will look good too. There's also a little bag here with uh, some thread. That's for our spools. So here we have tree B. See, we have our ammunition here, and then powder bags and the warheads. We have all the parts for the back for the and the uh, bulkheads and stuff for the inside. The seats are here. Here's a motor and transmission here. Uh, there's also some detail parts around here. Some of the some of the tools. <coughs> See, this is where the ammu ammunition goes here.
has some nice detail on it. I think the ammunition looks good. Nice bolt heads and stuff. So here we have tree C. You see we have uh, a little bit more of the internal and external detail here. Here's also the spade for the back. That's what it was called, spade. Yes. There's also parts like here's some spools, board brush, and these boxes, and there's a lot of little nice details here. Now we have sprue D. See our main gun. Well, this is mostly gun parts. There's also some here. The, the so here we have sprue D. We have our gun. Here's the cradle for the gun and the mount for the gun. Also here's the front of the hull here. Um, mud flaps are the defenders. It's mostly here gun parts on this side. You see here, those are nicely detailed with the bolt heads and stuff on them. I think the gun looks pretty good. And here's our last spruce for E. So we have uh, some pioneer tools here. Uh, we have machine guns here, a couple of rucksacks. Here's the fuel caps ammo cans. Here's the ends for our um, tow cable. I have these handles and the tow shackles. And here we have my finished one. Now this isn't the exact same kit. These Airfix the Airfix kit that I just reviewed is a rebox of this kit, which is from Academy. And I really like uh, the the decals for this. It was actually a like a, a French a, a, a version used in France. It also has some French June Gill. There, va the Char de Mort. It's like Chariot of Murder, <laughs> Chariot of Death, or something like that. <clears throat> but I think it turned out. It turns out pretty good. I a couple years ago I repainted it and everything. You can see, when you look at the back here. You can see the ammo and the powder bags, fire extinguishers, and everything. And I did a little researching. Um, they usually carry a couple smoke rounds. So it's, that's what the gray ones are. The rest are black because they're live rounds. You can see here the, the, the thread is ran here around here uh, the winch to winch the spade up and down. And you see here's the spool here with the thread, the seats, ammo cans and stuff. Well, I think it turns out pretty good. And it's the same kit pretty much except for different decals. I do like this one better because of the decals I think are better. But it turns out into a good kit. It is definitely a good kit. And even though the details are a little soft, just a very little bit soft, um, like the bolt heads are a little too round, um, but it still looks good, I think. And being a green like that, you can't really see it that well. It turns into a good kit. I do re really recommend it. So thanks for watching. In my next video, we're going to take a look at this P51D from a Talarai 148 scale. This is a, uh, a kit of Pacific Aces. Um, unfortunately, the decals I put on it aren't good anymore. Uh, it's one of those that didn't hold up very long. It was I started breaking after a couple of years, even after 
protecting them. But I already have plans to redo it. I have decals for it. Um, so join me to see that next time.